Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K. In the previous sessions, we have seen the external features of the radius and ulna. Now let's discuss the muscle origin points which are seen from the anterior perspective of these two bonds. So when I consider these bonds in my hand, you can see certain red color markings which are given on both the bonds. So these are the origin points of certain muscles. So let's begin with this first one which is present on the lower part of shaft of the ulna. So when you consider the lower part, you can see an oblique line which represents the origin point of a muscle which is bridging between the ulna and radius that is called as the pronator quadratus. The name itself suggests the shape of that muscle. It is quadrangular in shape. And right above that, in the anterior surface and the medial surface of ulna, you can see a big muscle which is originating that is nothing but the flexor digitorum profundus, which is the deep flexor muscle which helps in the flexion of the fingers, the forefingers, the medial forefingers. And right opposite to that, on the anterior surface of the shaft of the uh, radius, you can see a red color marking which represents the origin point of the muscle flexor pollicis longus which is directed towards the thumb. So you can consider my hand here. You can see from this point the flexor pollicis longus goes towards the thumb, helps in the flexion of the thumb. Right above it, right above the flexor pollicis longus, you can see an oblique line that marks the origin point of flexor digitorum superficialis which will be overlying the flexor digitorum profundus. They are also the flexors of the fingers, the medial forefingers. The flexion is capable because of the flexor digitorum superficialis and flexor digitorum profundus. So apart from this point of origin, the flexor digitorum superficialis is also originating from another point that is over here. That is another point of origin of flexor digitorum superficialis and right below that is the origin point of the pronator teres muscle which will be going towards the opposite side and it helps in the pronation of the forearm and on this particular point you can clearly see on the lateral aspect of the coronoid process you can see a red color marking that is nothing but the origin point of supinator which will be coming here and which helps in the supination of the forearm. So these are the major attachments that you can find on the anterior perspective of these two bonds. Thank you.